All right, welcome Mr. D and Mr. Ward's pre-calc classes. We're gonna start our first day of reviewing today, a uh, five-day topical review followed by a work session, uh, preparing for the Gemini final exam that FLCC is asking us to uh, issue to you guys. Uh, we're gonna talk about mostly topics from the second semester. However, there is one that's gonna be reintroduced on functions, and that includes evaluation, composition, decomposition, something we haven't done before, inverse as well as some applications and that's what we're going to start today with all right so let's get started here p of t is a function r of t is a function first thing we're going to do is evaluate r of 14 minus 7 that means in the r function 3 t to the negative second minus 7 wherever you see that t it gets replaced with the input which in this case is 14 so we would have that now we're going to raise 4t to the negative second power. Negative means uh, on the denominator, so I'd have 3 over 4 squared is 16, t squared minus 7. We could leave it like that. If we want to get a common denominator, we could multiply 7 times t squared over t squared. And to make it into a single fraction, we would now have 3 minus 7t squared all over 16t squared. In this case, the blue one would be perfectly fine. Now we have composition, p of r of t, p following r. The output of r becomes the input of the p. So the first thing I'm going to write is p of the r function, 3t to the negative second. That 3t to the negative second becomes the input of p, or in other words, wherever there's a t, I'm going to replace it with that 3t to the negative second in that numerator and in that denominator. Now we have a complex fraction. That would give me 2 times 3 over t squared, 3 over t squared minus 5. Let's clean that up a little bit. Let's call this 6 over t squared. And just like we did up above, I'm going to multiply the 5. I can go quicker this time. 5t squared over t squared. Get that common denominator. So now we have a complex fraction. We can copy, change, flip. 6 over t squared. Instead of dividing, we're going to multiply. t squared over 3 minus 5t squared. Those t squareds cancel, and I'm left with 6 over 3 minus 5 t squared. A little bit of evaluating and a little bit of composition. R following, or P following R, or the output of R becoming the input of P. All right, moving on. We now have three functions, j, m, and s, and we're going to do some composition. First of all, j of m of k. The output of m becomes the input of j. So if m is k squared minus 2 and j, wherever I see a h here and here, I replace with k minus 2. This one's pretty cleaned up as it is already. We're just going to distribute through that negative 2. And then we'll clean up the numerator to negative 2k squared plus 9 all over k squared minus 2. All right, let's do our next composition, which is m of s of t. Again, m following s, the output of s which in this case is 2 cube root of t plus 4 becomes the input of m. m says take the input and square it and then subtract 2. So we're going to take this whole thing and square it and subtract 2. If I square, I've got to square the 2, which is 4. When I square the radical, I can square inside if I wanted. Or I could have squared outside. 
And the only other thing I would suggest is if we're going to do something else with it, we don't have to. That's a perfectly acceptable answer. We could say 4 t plus 4 to the rational exponent. Numerator's power, denominator's root, t plus 4 to the 2 thirds minus 2. All right, last one. We have j of j. The output of the j function becomes the input of the j function. So the j function is 5 minus 2h over h. That goes into the j function wherever I see that h gets replaced with that expression. So we're left with that complex fraction right there. Let's clean it up. 5 minus, distribute through the negative 2. Well, let's distribute through the 2. 10 minus 4h all over h. 5 minus 2h all over h. Common denominator, multiply that 5 times h over h. If I want to show a little bit of work here, I could do that. 5h minus 10 plus 4h. Now we distributed through that negative all over h, 5 minus 2h over h. Again, copy, change, flip. Again, as we do these, we get a little bit faster, a little bit smarter. 5h minus 10 plus 4h. I could have combined like terms there. h over 5 minus 2h. h is cancel. Combining like terms leaves me with 9h minus 10 all over 5 minus 2h. j of j of h. All right, that is composition. Now let's look at a little bit more complex evaluating. What this leads us into is a concept we're going to discuss in the calculus unit, and especially when you take calculus next year, be it here um, as a senior or if you're going on to college somewhere. This is a lead into what's called the limit definition of derivative, but we're just going to practice this as it's, as it's shown. g of b equals 2b squared minus 8b plus 3. I want to evaluate and simplify g of 3 plus h minus g of 3. I'm going to do the g of 3 plus h in blue. In other words, wherever I see a b, I'm going to replace with 3 plus h. And I'm going to clean up a little bit. Let's distribute, I'm sorry, let's FOIL first. 9 plus 6h plus h squared minus 8 times 3, minus 8 times h, plus 3. One last step, a lot of distributing. 18 plus 12h, plus 2h squared, minus 24, minus 8h, plus 3. There's our g of 3 plus h. Now let's do our g of 3. And again, I'm going to leave it a little bit less completely simplified, just so we can see something. 2 times 3 squared minus 8 times 3 plus 3 equals 3 times 2 is 8, 9 times 3 squared is 9 times 2 is 18 minus 24 plus 3. Now we're going to subtract blue minus red. Again, I'm going to show a little bit of a longer way, and there's a reason to that. 18 plus 12h plus 2h squared minus 24 minus 8h plus 3. There's our blue g of 3 plus h minus our red g of 3. And if you notice, we got some terms are going to cancel. Let's just go through and distribute through this negative for a quick second. That's a negative, that's a positive, that's a negative. Now what do we have? We have an 18 and a negative 18. These are all going to cancel for a reason. A negative 24 and a positive 24. A positive 3 and a negative 3. And what that does is that cleans up that g of 3 plus h minus g of 3 to equal 12h plus 2h squared 
minus 8h. We'll combine those two like terms, 2h squared plus 4h. And again, there's a reason behind that. There's a use for that in what's called the derivative. We'll get into that later on this year. And again, you'll do it in calculus. All right, let's do one more. g of a plus h minus g of a all over h if g of x equals. So again, let's do it in colors. Let's do that in black. g of a plus h equals a plus h squared minus 5 a plus h plus 3. Let's FOIL a squared plus 2ah plus h squared minus 5a minus 5h plus 3. That looks pretty simple, 5a. Now let's do our g of a in blue, which is just, oops, in wrong order, g of a, a squared minus 5a plus 3. Now we're going to subtract the black, a squared plus 2ah plus h squared minus 5a minus 5h plus 3 minus a squared minus 5a plus 3. Again, we'll distribute through that negative, and we see th some things that are going to cross off. What do we have? We have a negative 5a and a positive 5a. We have an a squared, and we have a negative a squared. We have a plus 3 and we have a minus 3, leaving us with 2ah plus h squared minus 5h. And remember, this one had all over that h denominator, which just adds one more piece to it. And again, this will have a lot of meaning later on. Pull the h out. 2a plus h minus 5 all over h. We cross those H's out, leaving us with our answer of 2A plus H minus 5. All right, so that's what composition and evaluation are. Now we're going to do decomposition, which means we're going to undo, we're going to take apart. And I'm going to use what's called, I call the circle method, which means I have this function g of x equals 5 log base 2 of 6x plus 2, and I want to decompose it, take it apart into two functions, a and b, a of b of x, a following b. So the first thing I'm going to do is circle the 6x plus 2. That becomes your b of x. That's simple. And the a of x is everything else. a of x equals 5 log base 2. But again, instead of that argument B, I'm just going to put a plain X. And if we put that back together and said A of B of X, A following B, output of B becomes the input of A, A of 6X plus 2 equals 5 log base 2 of 6X plus 2, exactly what we wanted. Now, the question could also say, hey, let's create a different composition. Let's break it down in a different way, which just means we're going to circle something else. 5 log base 2 of 6x plus 2. What if we circled the whole thing? That would give us a of x, b of x. It was a following b, so the b comes first, log base 2 of 6x plus 2, and then a would simply be what's left over, 5x. And again, we could check a of b of x, the output of b, log base 2 of 6x plus 2, becomes the input of a. What does a say to do? Just multiply it by 5, 5 log base 2 of 6x plus 2. Decomposition, probably easier than composition of functions. 
Okay, we got a few more examples, but our 15 minute video is gonna run out of time, so we will break and start again in a second.